welcome to this week's video. Coming up on this week's video, I play some funky stuff on a pink guitar. The crowd go mad as a guitarist walks onto stage. I might have got a new guitar, but I'm not going to talk about it this week. Oh, that's so cool! And a bit of silly tapping nonsense. You've seen my channel before you may have noticed the guitars that i have hanging behind me and you may notice that i have a new one this week but i'm not going to talk about it this week anyway moving on i've had a very busy week leading up to christmas not only because of gigs but i've had a rather significant birthday i'm not going to tell you which one you can watch later in the video when i show you a picture of my cake and it might have a number on it first gig i'm going to show you is with ralph who you've seen before and with Lee Pomeroy on bass, who you've also seen me playing with before. For those of you who don't recognise Lee, because some people did in the uh, last video I showed, Lee is a bass player with Take That, and he also plays with ELO, and lots of other people, and he's an extremely nice chap, and he's also a very good bass player. And if he's not playing in these huge stadiums, he loves playing so much that he does pub gigs, and so we were lucky enough to have him on this gig. Now this first clip I'm going to show you, this is, I enjoy this because this is uh, Free Falling by Tom Petty, which Jeff Lynne from ELO uh, wrote and produced with Tom Petty. So playing it with Lee, I think that's a good connection. So here we are, here's a little clip from that. on this I'm playing through my car amp I mentioned this last week I've been using my milkman for the last uh, several months since I bought it but I've gone back to the car to try it and uh, it's a different sound and I'm playing my 56 custom classic Strat through the car on that clip and this next clip is the second set and I've swapped over to my EVH Wolfgang well I don't know if you can see that's just out of shot uh, next to the guitar I'm not going to mention um, and I'm for this, I'm playing through that amp and I'm using my um, SL drive, my exotic SL drive to get that martial -y sound. And this, I do a medley of songs all in E, starting off with Play That Funky Music, and we went into Purple Haze. So that's why I'm playing Purple Haze on an Eddie Van Halen guitar, which seems always seems very inappropriate. And it makes me play not like Hendrix at all, all widdly diddly, but I thought it came out quite well. So I'm just going to show you this little clip. Excuse me while I kiss this guy.
play that guitar in this video. The next gig, there was a birthday party. Um, now you'll recognize some of the band if you watched my uh, videos before. Barry on drums, Robin on guitar, not the Bee Gees. I was editing the video, I just noticed that I said Robin was playing guitar. Well, clearly he's not playing guitar, he's playing keyboards. That's me playing the guitar. Anyway, funny things you say and don't notice till afterwards. Um, and Rietta on vocals, who you may have seen a few months ago. I haven't seen her for about five years, and then I did two gigs with her, um, only a couple of months apart this year. And unfortunately you can't see in this shot, I forgot my GoPro on this gig, and I had to prop my phone up using the phone rather than the GoPro. I think it sounds and looks quite good, but unfortunately it was on a music stand, I couldn't get the whole band in. So John, who was kind of uh, running the band and put the PA in, I couldn't get him in this at all. But anyway, this first one, I'm, well, let's get the nerdy stuff out of the way. I'm playing my Danny Gatton Telecaster, which is over here, hang on. My Danny Gatton Custom Shop Telecaster, which I haven't played on a gig for a little while, I don't think. Um, through my car amplifier again, uh, and I think I'm using my Boss um, overdrive pedal just for the drive sound on this one. So this is just a very short snippet of um, How Sweet It Is To Be Loved By You. Then this next clip is uh, Street Life. Now I haven't played this for a long time and I had to solo, it's normally a sax solo, but you don't have a sax player, so it's a guitar solo. And there's some very complicated changes to play over in the uh, sort of B section, which I did quite well I think until the end, then I got a bit confused. Um, but I thought it sounded all right this, and uh, I'm gonna show you it anyway. Sorry, uh, and this last clip from the, that gig is Superstition, and I did a guitar solo on this, and the reason I'm gonna show you this is because I love what Barry does on this. The groove that Barry plays on this song is really good. I remember seeing him quite a long time ago. Um, I don't know, Strictly Come Dancing, it's a big show in the UK uh, where they get a celebrity to dance with, a professional dancer, and it's a sort of reality show competition. And one of the dancers from it went out on tour and Barry was in his band and I went to see them playing locally and it was a big 12 piece band, I think. And they played Superstition. And I remember thinking back then, I think, oh, what Barry does on this is fantastic. And I love playing this tune with him. So I'm just gonna show you this little guitar solo I did here over Barry's groove. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about, it was my birthday weekend, and as a treat, Sarah, my wife, found this event going on, and she wasn't sure whether I would want to go. So she got a friend of mine who was around to pretend that he was going to be acting in a new show about Rush, a new musical being put on by Rush. And it amused me afterwards because I took it completely on face value, but she was actually trying to work out whether I was uh, interested in going to see Geddy Lee on his tour promoting his new book. Now, I guessed that that was what it was about, so it wasn't a surprise, but I said, although I'm not actually a massive fan of Rush, I thought, I, I bet he's really interesting. I would love to see this. So we 
booked tickets and we went on the day before my birthday and it was absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to show you this little clip because the first thing that happened, we went to Portsmouth on the south coast of the UK and they'd had guest interviewers each uh, show. I think they were in Sheffield and Manchester, I can't remember exactly where they were. And they had different people interviewing Getty on each show. And we turned up and they introduced the guest interviewer and it was Alex Lifeson, which of course is the absolute trump card. And as he walked out, the audience all around us, they all stood up and they go, yes, yes. So here's just a little video of that we did, because Sarah wasn't expecting this. She didn't know who Alex Lifeson was. She didn't really know who Geddy Lee was. She was just coming with me. And when the crowd went mad when Alex walked out, she was like, what, and started videoing. So here's just a little clip. And here's a clip as Geddy walks out to greet Alex. This it was absolutely fantastic. Geddy Lee, the, the way they spoke and interacted, it didn't sound rehearsed, it didn't sound forced, but there were no gaps. It was it was so interesting, and you get a free copy of the book, which I haven't received yet. But um, it was I was so pleased to have gone to some brilliant story, really funny. Alex Lifeson in particular, it was absolutely hilarious. Then the very next day was my birthday. And I'm going to show you my cake. My eldest daughter made this, and she knows that my favourite dessert is sticky toffee pudding. And she made the top two tiers of the cake, as you can see here. Um, the top two layers of sticky toffee pudding, the bottom layers of Victoria sponge. And she's made the middle layer in the uh, Eddie Van Halen striped uh, pattern. And there's the guitar and pick that she painted for me in that colour a couple of years ago in the Eddie Van Halen pattern. So that was very nice. And also, I might have received a present. Oh, let me just show this. Clip. I might have received a present. You can probably see it through the wrapper here. I'm not going to show you any more because this is going to have to be for a different video over the next couple of weeks. But uh, I think you probably know what I got. Anyway, one more gig to show you. And this, let me show you this is a photo we had taken before the gig. This is the 17th year. We missed one in that 17, missed one year playing at this venue. It's the Comedia in Brighton. We missed one year because of COVID. Um, it's Comedia in Brighton. We've done it every year. One year we did eight nights. It's only down to one uh, night now, unfortunately. It used, the venue used to have two two rooms. Uh, they've only got one now, so they don't have as much time over Christmas because it's really a comedy club. And as with the clip earlier, I was putting my uh, camera somewhere different and didn't get a great camera angle here. It's sort of from above, but it's a bit interesting, a bit different. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of things here. I was using my Milkman amp with my Paisley Telecaster I bought many years ago, um, and I've noticed they've tripled or quadrupled in price now. A Japanese, made in Japan, and they were only made for the uh, Japanese market, but you could get them exported. I got it on eBay. Um, a replica of the 1969 James Burton uh, Paisley Telecaster. I remember when I was younger, every single music shop had a Paisley uh, Strat and Telecaster and a blue flower pattern Strat and Telecaster, but you can't really get them anymore, or maybe you can now, but when I looked about 10, 15 years ago, whenever I bought it, you couldn't, so I got it imported from Switzerland, I think, and it was about 500 quid. I know they're a lot more expensive now. Anyway, I dust that guitar off when I do an Elvis gig, um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of clips. This first one is Wonder of You, which is one of my favourite solos, which I believe is James Burton on the record, but it's a really nice uh, sort of harmony guitar solo. Oh, And then this song, that I've only played this once before, this is a new one that called, I think it's called Feeling In My Body, and it's got, this became famous because it was used a lot in the film. I don't think it was a particularly well-known song before, but I think it's all over the film. I haven't actually seen the film yet. Um, so this one's gone into the set, but it's uh, 
it's kind of funky disco-y thing and it's uh, got a bit of wild guitar and I think it's a keyboard solo on the record but for some reason he wanted me to do a guitar solo so here's a bit of funky guitar on a pink guitar on an Elvis gig. <laughs> for watching hope you've enjoyed the video this is my significant birthday week a few interesting gigs which i've really enjoyed um got about three more before christmas and then i've got two before between christmas and the new year so this has been a very busy december which isn't always the case please hit like hit subscribe i bring out new videos every friday at 7 p.m i will try and bring one out between christmas and new year if i get time so it's a busy time of year with the kids off school and uh, stuff but I will try and bring a video out next week if not there'll definitely be one the week after um, and I'm going to leave you this little clip this is um, from the first gig that I showed you with Ralph and Lee and it's a, a bit further on in that medley that I showed you that we're doing Purple Haze so I'm playing my EVH Wolfgang guitar which is let me get it another EVH guitar two now oh no i'm not going to mention that other one um so this is a little bit we were just doing songs in that key and i think we went into um pink floyd another brick in the wall so i did a solo and then went back into the funky music groove and i started doing some very silly tapping so that's all what that's about that's the sl drive through the car ramp hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you next week so